All right, this is the Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 5, and I have been collecting stuff. So the first thing is a sewing item, and for that I have a couple of things, actually. I have a piece of, I'm going to have a pattern here, Just there's just one pattern piece. Um, I also have a zipper. And I, if you watched my swap challenge at the beginning of the year where we swapped items, you know that this is from a fail. I tried, this was one of the items that I got swapped. I tried to make something out of it. It didn't work, but it is a sewing item and I can put it in my collage. Something my state or country is known for. My area of the state is known for two things, apples and grapes. And I have a couple of different kinds of, sticks of uh, stamps of both of those. So I'm going to stamp apples and grapes on my thing today. An item representing a childhood memory. This one took some, t some doing. Um, and I have these pieces from a Monopoly game. And I'm choosing them because as a kid, my mom absolutely loved playing games. And we played games all the time. Sorry. I mean, it started easy with shoots and ladders and, you know, those types of games. Uh, go fish. And then it eventually evolved into the higher skilled games like Monopoly and Cribbage. We played a lot of Cribbage. Um, it was one of her favorite games to play. But I, something that represents a childhood memory games. Something ornate. I have here a little um, froof, a little floofy thingy here. Um, I'm going to use that and you'll see why in a minute. Because something that starts with L is my mom. This is a picture of my mom. Uh, her name was Louisa. And this was a glamour shot that was taken her. She, she worked at Kodak in Rochester and she was in the secretarial pool and one day they came by and somebody was testing out a new camera and said would you be willing to uh, pose for some shots so we could test out this new camera and that was a glamour shot that was taken of her and uh, she was absolutely a beautiful woman and I loved her very much so my something that starts with L is Louisa my mom and of course, something pink. Well, we have that in here. And we also are going to have that. I found this set of stickers and it says mom on it in pink. So this is what we're going to craft with today. Uh, or we're going to, you know, I'm challenging myself with because there, there's a lot of it. And I have my book page here. I haven't put anything on it. The reason I didn't put anything on my book page, I'm going to pull it all the way down into frame here. I wrote this book. It's called The Revolution of Clara Simpson. It is not yet published. If you are a publisher and are looking for something to publish, I got one for you. Um, it follows Clara Simpson, a fictitious heroine during the Revolutionary War, during the British occupation of New York. And I wrote it specifically for my mother. In fact, the book is dedicated to her because... I wanted. She, I wrote. I wrote a lot of erotic romance. I'm, I published all my erotic romance under the name Diana Hunter. I'll go ahead and put the link down below for those of you who are interested in erotic romance. Um, but my mom didn't read erotic romance, and she always kept saying, "When are you going to write a book I can read?" And so I wrote the Revolution of Clara Simpson because she liked historical fiction for her. All right, I am going to cut this down just a little bit more. I was going to put it like this to cover up my text. Maybe I still will. Okay, I don't want to cover the text too much, but I don't, I want it to show through a little bit so that, because, you know, this was the book that was written for her. And since she's on this page, it makes sense that we keep it for her. Okay, I'm going to have to take off that little bit corner just a little bit. It's not going to quite fit. Um, and the pattern is also important, I think, for her because 
My mom was a great seamstress. She made all of our clothes when I was a little girl. When I was little, you were not allowed to wear pants to school. Girls were not allowed to wear pants to school. I couldn't wear pants until I got to, to um, junior high, and even then it had to be slacks. We were not allowed to wear jeans. Even the boys were not allowed to wear jeans. Jeans didn't come in until much, much later. But So my mom made all of our clothes, and I learned how to sew at a very young age and was sewing my own clothes by the time I was in junior high. We took home ec in junior high, and one of the things we had to do was make an outfit easy. It was an easy A, because I already knew how to do it. My mom had been teaching me how to sew since I was a kid, a little kid. So I knew how to sew. I knew how to my way around a pattern. It's a little hard to cut this pattern up because I keep thinking, well, maybe I'll make it. The reality is I gave away my sewing machine because I'm not doing any sewing anymore. Um, that has moved. That's a different place, different thing for a different time. So there's my something sewing, but I also have this zipper, which I may throw in there. And I have these two pieces which could go in here and I have the picture of my mom that I want to be center do I want to I might I may or may not use this I, I haven't decided yet so oh, and I have to stamp my uh things around so yeah I probably am not going to use the this poor zipper yet because I've got a sewing item something my state or country is known for is my stamping I'm going to do that in a minute Item representing childhood memory, something ornate that's over here that's going to go around mom. And something that starts with L is mom. And then something pink will be that, um, the mom on here. All right, let me go ahead and uh, paste these down. I seem to have lost my glue. There it is. I want that glue stick. And I'm going to move over just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to move that. Try not to forget to put that on there. All right, I'm just rearranging here so I'm all in camera. There. All in frame. So $500 of Monopoly money. It's funny how that has actually Monopoly money. That has entered our lexicon, hasn't it? I don't know if this is going to stick with the glue stick. So let's go ahead and use the Fabri-Tac. Oh dear. Don't need to take the whole thing off. Just want to take the orange part off. I just filled this back up again. So we'll see how it works. There it comes. Okay. Using the Fabri-Tac because it's a more of a cardboard, and I don't know that it will stick with regular paper. There we go. Okay, Mom, I'm going to put you here, and I don't want to forget to put you on, but I think I'm going to put you way down here. I don't need all that white stuff on there. I think you're going to go down here. Okay, Mom. Let's put you on here. I want to make sure that that's okay. And this is a digital print um, taken from, you know, I scanned the picture of her years ago of this, this picture of her and made a digital of it. And then I just printed it out so that I have it for the glue book. And I want that to show up a little bit better. So I'm going to use my black fine point. Let's see. That might be too fine. Yeah, it's a little too fine, I think. Let me try the other side. Oh, and that's too, that might be too big. Well, we'll give it a shot. There we go. Sorry, this is, I'm not talking during this. I have to concentrate. Okay. Well, 
I'm not going to be able to do it there. I have to turn the picture. Hoping it's still in frame. Okay, turning the corner. Not so easy. Here we go. Yeah, there's nothing says you have to do a fancy frame or anything. I did think about a fancy ornate frame around it, but around her picture. But I think I like that just instead. That just kind of makes it pop off the page a little bit. Okay, before I put my grapes and whatnot on, I'm going to put my mom sticker on here in hot pink. This says mom. And it's a nice bright pink. Come on. Let go. There we go. This does not want to come up. There we go. Mom. Hang on. I have a piece of the O is not off of there. There. Mom in, in bright pink. And I want the ornate my something ornate is this flower and swirl which I'm going to put right down there there it's also pink okay we're going to hold off on that because I have to put these other items in so let me put this down so I don't forget it because I have a tendency you know that to, for, to not put this in. Okay, we're going to put you right down here. And glue you on so I don't forget. It's usually the last thing that I do because I've always forgotten it. But this time, I don't want to forget it. There. Okay, we're going to leave that just like that for a minute. And now we're pulling out our stamps. And I have a couple of different stamps here. Um, I have... Come on, go back on the on there. I have these are Stampin' Up, old Stampin' Up stamps that I picked up at a thrift store. But I do like the grapes that are on there because grapes and apples are what we are known for. So I think a great big apple up there, although the grapes might fit down here better. So let's get out the stamp pad. And my stamp it off page. Okay, sorry, I'm getting myself back on camera here. And let's go ahead with this one first. Let's see if that's even working. It's not even working. Let's get, I'm a little worried about this stamp pad. I may have to break out the other one. Okay, we're going to break out the other stamp pad. Be right back. Hang on. It's right here. All right, here. This is a brand new stamp pad um, because I'm afraid this one is about empty. I know there are re-inkers. I have to look at how to do that. Okay, it's still not giving me a great impression. Come on. Because if you can't give me a good impression, I'm going to the other one. Okay, I'm not sure I really like that one. So let's go here and we'll get this one all inked up. I, To be honest with you, I'm not loving the stamps on wood. The rubber stamps on wood. I'm, I'm not really enjoying them as much as I like the uh, other ones. Okay, I think the apple will work. There we go. Nice apple up there. I'm the apple of my mother's eye. Okay, we'll let that continue to stamp off. I really wanted the little one down here. Let me see if I can't get that one more time. 
okay I think we're going to be all right with it I just have to make sure I get all of it Now you see, you can't hardly see that. All right, let's go with this one. See if we can't get some ink onto this one. There we go. Now we're getting it inked up. And we're still going to go sideways. That's a little better. We are known for apples. We are. I live in apple country, and um, there are probably 150 wineries within a 50 mile radius of me. We make a lot of grapes, or we, we we grow a lot of grapes around here, and we have a lot of wine, and we have a lot of cideries, and it's if we now have a lot of distilleries. So if you want alcohol, you come to the Finger Lakes. I'll tell you. So there you go, Mom. I, my, uh, my sewing item is my pattern, something my state or country is known for. My state is known for apples and grapes, something an item representing a childhood memory. I have the stuff from Monopoly because we played games so much as a kid. Something ornate. I have a little flourish here. Something that starts with L. That's my mother. And bonus, something pink is the word, Mom. And then the flourish is also pink. And that's it for my Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 5. Can you believe it's been five weeks? I've done it all five weeks. So far, I'm on a roll. I really am hoping I can keep this up for another 47 weeks. We'll see. All right. This is Cindy saying make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you are enjoying these. And I will see you with another Marguerite Challenge next Saturday. Till then, this is Cindy signing off.